Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a new uprising project which is called SpeechGPT. Now, SpeechGPT is a large language model that possesses intrinsic cross modal conversational abilities, which enables it to comprehend and generate content across multiple modalities based on human instruction. You can basically give it an instruction by saying or asking a certain thing, and you'll get an output that is perceived through a cross modal instruction that will give you the best related answer as well as the best output that correlates to your question now it can be specifically designed to possess speech on data as well as having the capability to perceive and generate multi-modal content now the deployment of speech gpt is involving the creation of a significant data set which is called speech instruct now this comprises of cross modal speech instructions which helps it operate now to train speech gpt there's a three-stage training strategy which has been employed the first stage is its modality adaptation pre-training where the model is exposed to various speech data to adapt to different parameters specifically for actually processing speech related information now this pre-training stage allows the model to actually develop a foundation for understanding and generating speech-based content. Secondly, there's a stage that focuses on cross-modal instruction fine-tuning, and this is where SpeechGPT is trained to follow instruction given in a multi-modal context. This involves an instruction where the model with both context as well as speech instructions are then allowed together by fusing itself to learn how to interpret as well as respond to human instructions across different types of modalities and this is something that we can see in this image here where it's able to tackle different types of cross models and give you an output that is related to the input that you gave it and lastly the third stage is a chain of modality instruction fine tuning and this further refines a model's ability to comprehend as well as generate context based off the instruction which is spanning towards multiple modalities now this stage focuses on training the model to be more seamless in terms of its traction and transition between the models as well as the modalities and maintain a context through the actual conversation so you're not able to repeat or have the model hallucinate in different ways. Now, the experimental results of SpeechGPT is something that we're going to be showcasing, but we're able to see that this overall in the data set, as well as the results that we get in this white paper, or sorry, not the white paper, but the research paper, is that there's impressive capabilities to understand and follow multimodal human instructions. Now, the reason why I'm covering this is because you're able to do a lot with this application and it's going to showcase its proficiency in cross modal instruction, which is something that we, something like none of these other applications have been able to accomplish at this level. So we're able to get better spoken dialogue abilities as well as better cross modal instruction following applications and this is something that speech gpt is able to harbor so in today's video we're going to be focusing a little bit more about what speech gpt can do talking a little bit about the features uh, that data sets as well as some of the uh, limitations and going over some of the demos that are provided with this website as well as their blog posts so with that thought guys if you guys haven't actually followed my twitter page please do so as i'm obviously going to be posting the best and latest ai news on here so definitely give it a follow turn on the notification bell and i'll be posting the most latest ai news right over here now if you guys haven't subscribed to the world of ai definitely do so because i'm going to be continuously dropping the best content and the best value so that you can definitely get ahead in the ai world and if you guys haven't uh, seen any of my previous videos i definitely recommend that you do so as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from so definitely check this out subscribe turn on notification bell like this video guys as it would really mean the whole world to me i'm going to be continuously working my hardest to give you the best content improving on myself to get you the best value and the best quality so with that thought let's get right into the video now firstly in simple terms to get an output from chat or speech gpt you have to provide an input in the form of a human instruction these instructions can be given through speech or text and the model then is trained to understand the process of these instructions across multiple modalities so in this case you can get input a text an audio file an instruction of a text or an input of an audio file now, for example, you can ask SpeechGPT to provide information on a specific topic or ask it to generate a poem or have a conversation with it as if you're talking with a chat partner. Now, you can give instructions like tell me 
about the history of ancient Egypt or compose a poem about a love and nature or engage in a dialogue by asking questions or providing responses. In this case, we see we give it a ask in a, a, a prompt of what is the capital of France. It shouldn't be French, but what is the capital of France? And over here, we can see that the capital of France is Paris. And this is an instruction input that you give it of a textual representation and you get a textual output. You can do things where it's audio to text or it could be text to audio and different modalities that you can play around with. Now, SpeechGPT uses its external training on speech data as well as multi-modal instruction data sets and what this does is that it interprets and generates meaningful responses based off the input instruction and it does this by leveraging its cross-modal conversational abilities to understand the context generate relevant content you're able to provide output in the way that resembles human-like conversation and this is all through the modal as well as the actual functioning capabilities of speech gpt now in this figure it provides an overview of speech instruct construction process as well as the construction of the whole speech GPT application model. Now on the left side of the flowchart, it illustrates the creation of the speech instruct data set, which is divided into two parts. Firstly, it is the cross modal instruction data. And secondly, it is the chain of modality instruction data. Now this data set serves as a training data for speech GPT model. The cross modal instruction data consists of instruction given in multiple modalities such as speech and text. And this is something that we checked out previously. Now it's designed to train the model to understand and follow instructions across different models of or different modes of instruction as well as communication. The chain of modality instruction data focuses on training the model to transition smoothly between the modalities during a conversation. It ensures that the model can maintain context and continuity when constructions are given in a sequence of different modalities. And this is something that we can see over here on this illustration. Now moving to the right side, we're we're able to see that it depicts the structure of speech GPT model. Now this model is then first spoken into a dialogue and then the large language model then possesses strong abilities to follow human instructions and engage in spoken dialogues. And this is through its data sets. Now additionally, like of this, like process we can see that the flowchart emphasizes the potential of incorporating other modalities into lms using discrete representation now this is a suggestion that makes speech gpt model to be able to handle multiple modalities beyond speech indicating that the possibilities of extending its capabilities to understand and generate context in other modalities like images or videos and this is something that they'll be building upon later on in the future now they currently haven't released their data sets but they're going to be doing that very shortly and i'll leave all the links to the repo as well as the blog post and the actual research paper in the description below but let's actually focus a little bit more on the model card as well as the structure now the language model that is used in speech gpt framework is called llama which is something that is made by meta and we've talked about this many times previously in our videos now llama is a powerful powerful language model with a significant number of parameters which can range from 7 billion all the way to 65 billion now these parameters Numbers contribute to the model's capabilities to process and generate natural language text. Now, the, to train Llama, a large language training data containing approximately 10 trillion tokens were actually utilized for this application. Now, this extensive data set allows Llama to learn patterns and structures in language, as well as enabling it to demonstrate competitive performance on various NLP benchmarks. Now, notably, despite having fewer parameters than larger 175 billion parameters such as the gpt3 model llama then still achieves to suggest that it's able to comparatively perform better in different nlp tasks and this is one of the main reasons why speech gpt focuses on this large language model as we talked previously, the capabilities of speech GPT are evaluated in two main aspects. Firstly is the cross modal instruction following ability and the spoken dialogue ability. Now these evaluations are conducted using a case study approach where a human evaluates and assesses the performance of speech GPT. Now in terms of the cross modal instruction following, the model's ability to understand and execute various instructions is evaluated. In this table, we can see that it presents the results, which demonstrates that speech GPT 
is able to capably and accurately perform tasks and generate appropriate outputs based off the provided input. Now regarding the spoken dialogue ability, we can see in this table too that it showcases 10 different examples of speech dialogues involving speech GPT. These dialogues illustrate the model's proficiency in comprehending speech instruction as well as providing responses in speech format. Now importantly, speech GPT adheres to the HHH criteria which stands for the harmless, helpful, and honest criteria. Now this is something that ensures that the model's responses are safe, beneficial, and truthful. And this is something that they focus and emphasize with speech GPT. Now, these are some of the context to the data as well as the results of speech GPT. So if you want to take a look at uh, like some of the experiments as well as the data that they've provided, definitely take a look at the research paper and I'll leave this in the description below. Before we actually move on further, let's actually take a look at some of the limitations. Firstly, there's a lack of paralinguistic information. This basically means that speech GPT does not take into account of different cues of speech, such as the variation in emotion tones, and as a result to this, it may not be able to generate responses with different emotional expression or tones. Secondly, there's a text-based response generation, which requires speech GPT to generate a text-based response before producing a speech-based response. This means that it first generates a uh, written response before it converts it into speech, which can basically delay your response as well as take and utilize a little bit more of tokens. Lastly, there's a limitation in supporting multi-turn dialogues, and this is something that you can take a look at in their white paper. Now, let's actually go on and play around with some of the demos. Now, if you go on their blog post, you can see different things as well as a demo as to what the speech GPT looks like. In this case, you can see right here, you can give it an input. What can you do? What can you do? Get an output. I can answer questions, provide definitions and explanations, translate text from one language to another, summarize text, generate text, write stories, analyze, provide recommendations, develop. And furthermore, I'm not going to emphasize a little bit more because we already talked about it. Now, we talked about the capabilities. Now, this is its cross modal instruction following. We can see that you give it an instruction. Can you transcribe the speech into written form? And we give it an input of an audio file. I am afraid there are no signs here, said he. And we get an output, which is quite remarkable. And this is one of the things that you can do. Secondly, you can give it an instruction, listen to the speech, and write it down, write down its content. Did anyone know that? And we can see we can get this output of a text. Now you can do the same thing by doing representing or inputting an input of a text and getting an output of an audio file. This is, these are just instructions, but these are the inputs that you give it. Now there's different things such as speech dialogue, talking, you have different things such as like a chat partner and etc. And you can even have it give you better responses. In this case, uh, listen to this psychologist. How can I cheat my parents? Psychologist, sorry. And we get an output like this. Cheating your parents is not a good idea. It can damage your relationship. It also gives you a textual prompt, which we saw before is one of the limitations. But if you really want to play around with this, I'll leave this link in the description below so you get a better gist. I know we're getting a little bit further in terms of the video, but these are some of the capabilities of what you can do with speech GPT. And I definitely see this as being a really powerful tool that you can get an input of a human instruction and getting an output of different modalities. So I highly see this as something that has a lot of potential in handling different modalities within a single model and could be used and utilized to innovate a lot of different things so definitely check this project out and i will definitely be covering it in its future updates so with that thought guys make sure you follow my twitter account subscribe turn on the notification bell and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos please do so and i really i would really really appreciate it guys thank you so much for watching have an amazing day have a positive smile and i'll catch you guys very shortly Peace out, fellas.